The makeup I took on holiday this year consisted of four products. Light to keep it basic. I've got three kids, so um, I don't really have too much time to beautify myself. But these products really, really work for me. Now, I get very frustrated with my eyebrows because I've got holes in my eyebrows. And unless I fill them in, I just feel a bit sort of scruffy and out of shape. Um, if I use a powder or a coal, well, it's just going to last two seconds, isn't it, in the heat and humidity. So I use a product called Wonder Brow. This shade is blonde. Now, I apply it with a small eyeliner brush. I don't use the brush that it comes with because I find it too fat and thick and it doesn't give me a nice sharp definition. So I just use that in my brows and it pretty much lasts a couple of days anyway and I build up on it just to kind of give me a nice shape to my brows so I feel a bit more put together. Now, I've never really liked waterproof mascaras in swimming pools and in salt. Um, I think it reacts with the mascara and it kind of ends up making the lashes sort of clog together and ends up looking like sort of four spider's feet sort of stuck on top of your eyes. Spider's feet? Spider legs? Really? I don't really know that spiders have feet, but anyway. Um, so I use a tubing mascara and I prefer the Japanese brand DHC. It's been a long-term favourite of mine. And the genius thing about this in terms of packing light is that I don't need to use an oil-based cleanser to remove it because the only way to remove it is with warm water. So it doesn't react with the salt, it doesn't react with the chlorine and it defines my lashes. Now it doesn't give me big fat chunky lashes like I'm wearing right now, which I love by the way. I really like a full on mascara personally. It defines your lashes and elongates them and just sort of beautifies your eye in a very pretty way. It's basically, it basically contains polymers and polymers is a plastic. So it just literally almost tubes, as, it, as the word and term is described in the mascara, each individual lash and it stays put. When you remove it, you'll find that it's very different. It doesn't dissolve like a normal mascara, so it comes off in little sort of rubbery bits, I, as I was talking about, the polymers. Um, so just take a flannel, really, really emulsify it, pull it off. Might need to pick a few little bits off here and there, but it's very effortless and it lasts you know, in a couple of days. So I use that. Now, for the most easiest, most beautiful luxury tan, as it says here, Vita Liberata, is such a gorgeous bronzer. Now, I actually use this um, after I applied my moisturiser, you know, give or take a few minutes, not immediately. And I would never, ever suggest that you apply a bronzer onto a damp skin because it grips onto the skin. Well, the Vita Liberata comes with a little kabuki brush, which I use, many of the brushes that come with products I don't tend to use because they're cheap and they're not well thought out. This is a lovely kabuki brush. Um, and you just take off the plastic layer that comes into it and you put the kabuki brush into it. I would then take it into your hand and rub it in like this. But anybody, however basic at makeup, can apply this bronzer because it is so, so natural. And also, very, very gently and very lightly, it does tan your skin. Now, don't expect to kind of look like a bronze goddess after one application, it doesn't happen. It just warms up your skin tone but it's got these tri-crystals which just really beautify the skin and give you a three-dimensional tan to your finish. And I just use this on my face. It's softened the oiliness in my face. It's softened, I didn't have too much redness in my face because I use a lot of protection actually, but it just gave me a lovely bronze glow that I didn't really own. Um, but just for evenings and stuff, it made me feel just a little bit more um, tanned, I guess. And that was that, I was happy with that. And I finished off with, um, Flame, one of my fave Max Factor matte, velvet matte lipsticks. I'm wearing it right now and it's a coral colour. I can't say enough, never ever bother taking a pink lipstick with you on holiday. Normally, even if it's just hot, you'll get a nice flush to your skin. Um, and if you wear a pink lipstick, it just enhances that flush, which is not really that beautiful. So if you're in a hot climate or you've got warmth to your skin, always opt for a lipstick or a lip gloss or any lip colour, whatever texture or formula you want, but just make sure it's kind of of a golden, bronzy or corally finish to it. Even if you want to wear a red, just make sure you use an orangey red. You'll find it much more flattering on your skin tone. Anyway, that was my little capsule collection of my makeup um, bag, which really was very small. Um, and I hope there were a few little pointers there and um, let me know what you think.